Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to insert characters in your into your two-point perspective project, Photoshop project. So I've got a, an image here of Spongebob Squarepants, and uh, I've found this, I went on to Google, and I Googled it, and I went to Google Images. If I right-click on here, and I go Save Image As, I need to save an image before I can open it in Photoshop. But you'll notice that there's a little bit of a problem here. It says it's a WebP file, but it's not a graphics file. So I can't save it because it won't open in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to Windows, Snip and Sketch, click New, and that'll allow you to click and drag around this character that you want. So here I go. I've now got SpongeBob, and I'm going to save this. Now I typically save to downloads, and I'm going to call it Spongebob so I know what it is and actually here it says I can save it as a PNG which is fine I can also save it as a JPEG the choice is really up to you I'm gonna save this to downloads and I'm now gonna come on down to Photoshop and you'll see I already have a project open here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now open that file of Spongebob so here I go I navigate, I open up SpongeBob. Now, if I wanted to insert the whole image in, like the whole image of SpongeBob here, I can select the whole thing by going Control A. And then I can copy it, Control C, and then I can paste it over here. So I can go Control V. The problem is, I end up with this white uh, surround around SpongeBob, and it just doesn't really work. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to close that or control Z to get out of that last move. And there we go, he's gone. So I'm gonna come back over here to SpongeBob and we're gonna try something different. What I wanna do, the first thing I typically do is I double click my background layer and that unlocks it. So you'll see it no longer has a little lock there. I've still got this whole image selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control D, that's deselect. And now I'm going to come up here and we've got three selection tools to use and you can try them out. Uh, there's, if I hold down, if I click and hold down on the tool, I, I can try the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool allows me to click and drag over an object. And that seems to be working pretty, uh, pretty well in this instance. Problem is I seem to have selected and it's a little bit challenging to get these outside edges but not bad here we go notice i selected that space underneath his arm and down here so it, this works but it's tricky now i can change the size of the tool by using my bracket keys and that's the bracket keys below the plus and minus uh, the other thing i can do is i can change my size right up here. So I can change my size, make it really big or make it really small. Uh, and there, that's pretty small. So this will work. And you can see I've now selected SpongeBob. And I'm just going to take him over to the other. So I've selected him. Well, I better select that as well. So let's see, what does this look like? Let's, let's see here. Oh, I forgot this area up here. I'll get those eyebrows. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I've selected SpongeBob. So I'm going to hit Control C to copy this and Control V to paste this over here. Now it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, but it's behind and I don't want SpongeBob behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer and click and drag it up to the top. And there he is. Now, in order to move this character around, I need to use my move tool. So I come to use my move tool and you want to make sure that you've got show transform controls on. So I can now move this character up here on top of this block and I can shrink him. I can rotate him. I can do whatever I want, but I'm not really happy with the white areas down here around the legs. This executes the command and, and leaves SpongeBob there. So I'm going to try a different tool with SpongeBob over here. I'm going to try the magic wand tool. Now this works really well if you've got a white background. So watch what I'm going to do. Although SpongeBob is still selected, I could deselect him by going control D or I could just leave him. I'm going to try selecting all this white area here. So you'll see I've now selected all the white area around SpongeBob, but 
I haven't selected this area underneath his, in between his arm and his body. So if I want to add to my selection, and this is really key, I hold down the shift key. Notice when I hold that down, the tool gets a plus sign beside it. And now I can select this white area and this white area right here. And I've pretty much selected everything that isn't SpongeBob SquarePants. But if I want to, what I can do is I can inverse my selection, meaning instead of selecting all the white area, now I'll select everything but the white area. So if you hit Control Shift I, you'll see now I've reversed my selection to solely select SpongeBob. So now I'm going to try copying them. Control C. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to do Control V. And now there's SpongeBob again. Notice this time there's no white around his uh, legs or between his arm and his body. So I come up here to the Move tool and I can move SpongeBob around. And I can now shrink him or rotate him if I need to. But this is a much better way of selecting an image. So I'm going to commit to that. There we go. <clears throat> the other tool that you can try out is here. What I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to try out the object selection tool. Uh, this works well if you've got a very white or similar colored background as well. So first thing I'm going to deselect SpongeBob and then I'm going to drag this marquee around. This is a very slow tool, but let's see how it works. So you can see it's thinking, still thinking. Just one thing to add while we're waiting for that to happen. I can come down here and some images when you right click they may you can try doing this to find out what type of image it is if you right click sometimes you'll find out that this is indeed a JPEG so you can always try clicking save image as and if this shows up as a JPEG you can just go ahead and save that image and you don't have to use a snip and sketch let's go back to Photoshop and see where we're at here Yeah, so it did an okay job of selecting SpongeBob, but notice that it missed some of the white areas. So again, I can go ahead and I can copy this, Control C and Control V, and you'll see it, it's just not as good. There's some areas of him missing. So let's go back to the Move tool here. And yeah, you can see that there's some areas of SpongeBob missing. So what I'd recommend is try out the different selection tools and try snip and sketching some characters and moving them from one from from the um, from one tab that you've got them in to another tab and remember if you want to add to a selection and you're using the um, magic wand tool remember it's just as easy so here are control v if you need to add to a selection what you can do is you hold down the shift key and you'll get the little plus sign. And if you want to take away from a selection, you simply click Alt. So you can see there's a little minus symbol beside the magic wand tool right now. So I can go ahead, if I want to select this area, I hold down shift, that'll add to my selection. And if I want to take it away, I hold down Alt and I click it and that'll take it away from my selection. And also remember, it's Control Shift I and that will invert your or reverse your selection. So what was previously selected will now be deselected. And I would like you to do that for about 10 different characters for your two point perspective.